Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm going to be reviewing and providing our team's thoughts on the Kaplan US Millie prep course. I'm going to cover all the major strengths of this prep option, as well as the key weaknesses. That way you have a balanced and unbiased view of the Kaplan US Millie study materials. And just to be totally clear, we're mainly going to be looking at the step one prep materials, though our thoughts and analysis generally apply to the step two and step three packages as well, as the Kaplan study materials are pretty consistent across all three steps. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, a quick outline for this video. First, I'm gonna cover all the major pros and cons of this Kaplan course as we see them. Then I'm gonna circle back for a quick recap summary before finally ending with a verdict on whether I think this Kaplan US Millie prep course is a good choice. And since I'll just be running through this pretty quickly today, if you find you need more detail at any point, there's a couple easy options for you. First, I'll drop a link in the description below over to Kaplan's website so you can check this course out for yourself. And I'll also have a link down there over to our website where we have a full detailed written review of this course. Or better yet, you can always just Google Test Prep Insight Kaplan US Millie Review. That's an easy and fast way to find it too. All right, so the first major strength of this course is the guided comprehensive study plan that Kaplan provides. Without a doubt, it's one of the most effective and streamlined curriculums that we've seen. A lot of USMLE prep providers simply provide access to a question bank or set of resources with no real direction. Kaplan is the opposite. You never have to wonder what to study next because all of your work is set out right in front of you to be tackled step by step. Honestly, it's as clear as day and walks you through everything you need to study in the right order. For people that just want to be told what to study and when, or just need a little hand-holding, this will be your course. Plus, the Kaplan curriculum is just crazy comprehensive. They literally provide hundreds upon hundreds of hours of study resources across video lessons, live classes, quizzes, and more. It's just a rock-solid guided study plan. All right, so the second highlight of the Kaplan course is the set of hard copy prep books you get. So step one, students get a seven volume set and they are very good. They're detailed, comprehensive, and stuffed with graphics, tables, and images, which is a major boost for visual learners. Honestly, it seems like every other page has some sort of table, image, or graphic on it. Plus, I think they're really well organized. The books are written in a sort of to the point outline style format rather than some long rambling textbook like you get with some other USMLE prep books. Behind the classic first aid for USMLE prep book, these books are about the best in the space. Okay, so moving on. The third strength of this course is its QBank. Now to be clear, a lot of USMLE prep providers offer a question bank. In fact, I think they almost all do. But the X factor with this Kaplan package and what sets it apart is one, the quantity of practice questions, and two, the answer explanations that come along with each problem. So starting with the quantity. In short, Kaplan basically provides the most practice work in the space. I actually think a couple other prep companies might provide slightly more like Board Vitals and Smash USMLE, but Kaplan is right up near the top with 3,300 practice questions for their step one materials. But beyond the simple quantity, like I mentioned a minute ago, we were also big fans of the answer solutions. The Kaplan question explanations identify the underlying issue being tested, give a thorough little content review, and then provide an analysis of each answer choice. I was super impressed with their balance of detail and conciseness, not to mention that many of the solutions provide accompanying diagrams and graphics, which is helpful for visual learners like myself. And if you want to see some screenshots or pics of these answer explanations, make sure to jump over our website and check out that full detailed review. There's a bunch of good content over there. Okay, so fourth up is the live classes. But before I cover this, if I could ask you to please subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up button, and drop us a quick comment below, that'd really be appreciated. We go to great lengths to bring you all this detailed, honest content, and that engagement keeps us going. So it would really mean a lot. Okay, back to those live classes. And if you're the type of student that doesn't want to chance it with self-study or just needs a regular class schedule to power through, Kaplan's live online classes are very good in my opinion. I don't think they're quite the best in the category. Take a look at past program if you're looking for the absolute best USMLE live classes we've reviewed, but they are rock solid. Kaplan uses a team of subject matter experts who rotate in and out of classes based on the day's topic, which is a huge benefit. Plus, the classes track with the online material and books to create a very cohesive and streamlined study plan. We were just big fans of these live online sessions. All right, so my fifth and final pro of the Kaplan course is the video lesson content. 
Notice I didn't just say video lessons there. And that's because we really liked the material contained in these videos, but we weren't crazy about the delivery, which I'll touch on more here in a second. But what I can say is that the content delivered in the video lessons is on point. Concepts are well explained with examples and graphics and go really deep into the necessary detail, but they're just lacking. Which I suppose is a good opportunity to shift gears over to the cons our team had noted with the Kaplan USMLE course. And let's start with that video lesson delivery, or format or whatever you want to call it. Essentially, while the videos are informative and content rich and well structured, the production value just sort of stinks. You occasionally see your lecturer on screen, but much more often, it's just a PowerPoint style slideshow with voiceover. It's an old school dated approach and just lacks the engagement you get with more modern video lectures. There's no cool animations or dynamic instructor delivery. So while I like the content, I was sort of disappointed with the delivery. And the second downside of this Kaplan course, you can probably guess, is the high price tag. I mean, this is probably why you're watching this video, trying to figure out whether Kaplan is worth it. And there's just no denying Kaplan is one of the most expensive prep providers for USMLE review. Their step one self-paced package comes in at a shade under two grand. The live online version is close to $4,400. And they even offer a live in-person package that touches some crazy price points up near 10K. The step two and three course options are cheaper, but they're not too far behind. So no matter how you cut it, Kaplan isn't cheap. And we see this as a negative when stacked up with other courses. However, with that said, I should also mention that Kaplan does frequently run sales and special promotions, so make sure to check out the description below for discount codes. A lot of times you can find the Kaplan USMLE courses discounted by up to 10%, so make sure to look for that. I'll do my best to keep that text below the video screen updated with any codes or coupons that might be floating around out there to save you some money on this course and take a little sting out of that price. All right, my third con, and that has to do with the performance reports. And my gripe here is that the performance reports that Kaplan gives you just don't provide enough detail to give you insights into where you're weakest and need the most work. It's sort of up to each student to dissect their performance reports and analyze where you're weak, then hop into the QBank and hammer some of those problem types. Other courses actually direct you through these reports to focus on a certain topic where they recognize you're struggling and you don't have to think about where to use your extra time. Again, the data is there for you, but it's more just self-driven and I'd like to see them tweak that. Okay, my fourth and final negative here is a small user experience issue. So in short, every time you open a video lesson or quiz or some other assignment in Kaplan's online portal, it appears in a new browser tab. This is all fine and dandy until you rip off a four hour study session and have like 30 tabs open. You lose track of which is which and it just gets sort of jumbled in your browser. I'd rather see Kaplan encapsulate everything within one digital platform, but all in all, it's not a killer. All right, so now that we've covered the strengths and weaknesses of this prep course in detail, let's run through a quick recap for some perspective. And by the way, since you're studying for the USMLE, I should mention that we give away a free prep course every single month to one of our subscribers. You just have to do the three simple things that I'll have listed here on the screen. And I'll also have all of the details down below in the description. It's really easy to enter. It'll take you less than 10 seconds. And hey, you never know, you could win a Kaplan USMLE course. All right, back to it. So let's start with those pros. You've got number one, a comprehensive study plan that guides you through your prep material. Number two, probably the best USMLE prep books in the category. Number three, a deep Q bank with great accompanying explanations. Number four, awesome live classes for students needing live instruction. And number five, the content of the video lessons. Then on the flip side for cons, you've got number one, the delivery format of those same video lessons is pretty lacking. Number two, the fact that Kaplan is a little expensive compared to competitors, but again, make sure to check below for current discount codes. Number three, underwhelming performance reports and summaries. And number four, a small user experience issue with too many tabs opening. And that about does it for this review. I think the bottom line is that Kaplan is an all around rock solid USMLE prep course that is very likely going to get the job done for those sitting for the USMLE steps one, two, and three. I know Kaplan is on the pricey side and has a few minor negatives, but if you're in the market for a prep course that's more robust with content review and offers more than just practice questions, I wouldn't hesitate to roll with Kaplan. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below letting us know what you thought. That'd be appreciated. And if you want to learn more about the USMLE or see that full detailed written review of this Kaplan course that I mentioned at the top of the video, 
make sure to jump over to our website, testprepinsight.com, where we have a ton of great content. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.